Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you my review, my reading experience of The Woman by Kristen Hanna. Now my reviews are spoiler free. I give every book one to five stars, one star I did not like the book, two stars eh, it was an okay book, three stars it's a good book, I liked it, four stars a great book, I loved it, and then five stars are there's more random books that just absolutely blow my mind and I want you all to read them. So let's talk about The Woman by Kristen Hanna. Now, I have read a handful of her books and historically fully loved her writing style. And I have to say that held true for me for The Woman. It was so interesting because when I read the plot, I wasn't grabbed by it. And um, essentially, we're going to meet, and this is surprising when you hear what the plot is, I think, but we're going to meet um, a, our main character as well as some other women that were part of the Vietnam War. They were in the military, and their role was that of healthcare as nurses. And we're going to hear not just about their experience as women in the war at that time, but also the return home to the country um, being the United States, these women um, that we meet are from the U.S., and what that was like for them because of the conflict going on um, nationally, people's opinions about the Vietnam War at the time, the protesting that went on, but also the way that the returning soldiers were treated. And so when I first read it, I was like, okay, this sounds interesting. I was intrigued by the woman's experience in the Vietnam War, but I won't say I was drawn to it. When I picked up this book and started reading, I couldn't put it down. So that's what I wanted to caveat. When you're not excited about a book, you know, it's just not the time, you know, the mood you're in, and yet it grabs you. I think that speaks volumes about the way that the story has been crafted and presented to you. I so we're going to meet in the main character we're going to meet in the very beginning our main character who comes from an affluent family her older brother has been um, has voluntarily joined uh, the military to go and enter into the uh, Vietnam War and she herself is faced with uh, what her role is and we're going to learn a little bit about the gender roles at that time um, and her own family's expectations of her. And she's really struggling to understand her expectations for herself and how the expected role and her own desires uh, contradict each other. She is going to decide to follow her brother and enter the war. And through that, she is going to, she has graduated from nursing school. So she is going to find employment as a nurse, which is going to lead her right into the war, into the heart of the conflict. And what is going to occur is we're going to spend a couple of years with her in the war. I was blown away by this part of the book. The detail, the way the environment in itself was uh, the eco ecology, the, the air, the way the air felt, the smells, the sounds, all of that, I thought Kristen Hanna just brought to life vividly, and I was completely captivated. Then on top of that, wartime experiences, the sounds, the quick um, shift in safety, it's just everything that would occur, not having been in that environment. So I want to caveat that. But to me as a reader, it felt so real. And I literally, when I began this book, could not put it down. And then as I continued through, um, it felt like actually there were three books in here for me, and I had different reactions to each of them. So we're going to meet a series of characters throughout the war. And as with Kristen Hanna, I think she does such a great job at bringing characters to life. Her character development, I think, is incredible. Each character had their very clear own voice. I could tell um, when I was reading dialogue from one, I wasn't confusing who was speaking. So I loved, absolutely loved the people that we meet. And some of them are going to get to continue through the, the whole novel with, which was really enjoyable. I fell in love with the characters in this story. I would say for me, the second novel was the coming home point. So we're going to experience our main characters return to the United States, the return to her family. And then we're going to, the novel is really going to take us through the struggles associated with uh, and I think a lot of people that has served in a war would relate to this part, again, not speaking from experience, but just from imagination, the shift from a wartime environment into 
uh, day-to-day life. So that I felt like Kristen Hanna just did a great job at capturing it and weaving it into our main character's experience. The reactions of people around you. We had a couple different things going on here. We have one, the people that are anti-war. Um, as the Vietnam War continues, and this is pulled through in the story, you know, the, the feelings about the war, the experience of the war, the war itself was changing um, due to politics, due to uh, what was happening in the war, due to the state, the mental health of the soldiers th- themselves as things evolved. And it, we're going to really experience how that change, even people that may have been pro the war in the beginning, shifted um, as horrific things continue to unfold, as frustrations continue to evolve. And so coming back for our main character, coming back into um, from a war, not as a hero, um, not as uh, being respected for the time that was spent, but in many cases actually being hated Um, for what she has done, feeling shame instead of pride was a really intense experience that I think Chris Dehanna, just like I said, wove into the plot extremely well. So we have just the return from a wartime environment to just day-to-day life in America. We have the return from a war in which you are not being celebrated. Um, And on top of it, we have PTSD. And that was another thing, you know, at the time... PTSD was not well understood. Uh, soldiers weren't prepared for it. Their families, they soldiers didn't understand what they were experiencing, nor did their families and friends. And that is another theme that I thought was woven in incredibly well to the second part of this book. So we're going to see in this book will carry us through a, a significant period of time then where our main character is struggling with all of these factors. At the very end of the book, I I felt like it was a third book where the character now has gone through her journey. She has learned a lot about uh, what it what has she has begun to heal, I would say. And America has begun to heal from the war. And then we're going to see how the life she chooses to create for herself. And that to me was the third book. And I actually found I wanted more of that book. I was like, if we could have, not that this is a complaint, this book is wonderfully done, (laughs) but I wanted emotionally as the reader, I was so engaged. I wanted to shrink the second part and really live more with the main character in that third part. I found myself hungry for that. So I would love if you've read this book to hear if you had a similar feeling where when it was ending, you were like, no, I want, I want this journey. I want to learn more about this moment in the character's life. I want more detail. Um, So it was very funny. This, for me, was a solid four-star read. I absolutely love this book. I would say my favorite, my most favorite part was the first, the section with the Vietnam War in the time of war. It was just absolutely captivating. I really couldn't put that book down, that part of the book down. The second part for me personally was so difficult, but so well done. Um, And then, like I said, the third part is where I, it just felt like it was speeding up. It was coming to an end. We weren't getting into all the details. The area she lived at that point wasn't brought to life with all the detail, like in the beginning of the book. And I was just like, no, I want more of this, which I think speaks volumes about Kristen Hanna's writing. So this book will be headed to my Pango shop. I am trying so hard to not keep every book I love (laughs) because I'm running out of space. So I'm going to share this book. Link will be below or I'll just have links below if you choose to if you want to pick up a brand new copy of this book. If you have read it or you choose to read it, let me know below. I love to hear what people think, even if your opinion, your experience was different than mine. Um, Again, it's great, I think, for people to hear all the different reactions and experiences so they can make a decision that's right for them. Do I go into this book or not? Um, And we can find our shared our shared readers. So that is it. Thank you, as always, for being a part of my literary life now. Let's go read some more books. Happy reading.